Welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, with the Nisco. Why the hell are we all the way back at the beginning? Because we are. Oh, you gonna show us off the warps? Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah, you really are. Sweet. So, like I said last episode, we have reached the last of the doing a world in one video thing. Ah oh, yes, finally I can catch up using with Donkey Kong. <laughs> finally got that mumbo token. Oh, cool. Whoever said I wouldn't be able to get that mumbo token, you owe me five bucks now. Or, you know, just a sub on Twitch. Well, you know. Twitch.tv slash Jester. <laughs> oh, wow, that took us all the way up here. Nice. Yep, all the way up here. So we're going to enter our next our uh, next painting. But we got to do some things first. I don't recall what the next level is, but I'm sure I'll find out here soon. I think we have enough notes still. <laughs> Nothing to it. And then the one guy in the studio audience, yeah, banjo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Right. Go, banjo! Kazooie's okay! <laughs> I could take or leave her! <laughs> God, just imagine if we you went to like a live show and somebody said that. <laughs> You're adequate! Woo! <laughs> And here's our drummer! Hey, he'll do! The, the last drummer was better! <laughs> God, a bunch of assholes in this crowd. Should have stayed a session drummer! Ooh, alright. Uh, uh, security! Can you play stuff not from the new album? And there will always be the one guy that yells Freebird. But he's the one fan of the audience, so you have to do what he says. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a promo for the new album. Nah, that's okay. You just play stuff from the first two. Have you? Okay, for, uh, 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 not the not the last three songs from the second album because those are kind of shitty. Have you ever heard of Tenacious D's worst show ever? Now, when you say that, that they told this story on Hot Ones, and it was hilarious. When you say worst show ever, it makes me think that it's all a joke or it really did happen to be by a, their own admission a magnificently bad show by their own admission that can only happen in the lives of two comedians like them. Yes, basically, um, their show was given away as a radio show prize. It's like, hey, if you call in, you, you know, if you're like the 100th caller or if you do this, it was one of those types of um, special shows. Next level here, by the way, Mad Monster Mansion. Oh yeah, the place I stopped. Perfect. All right, All right. so this will be, uh, be a new experience going forward. Excellent. For the most part. Well, anyway, uh, this prize went to quite a few people, but they weren't told who was going to be playing at this Vegas show. Ah. They just knew they were going to a show. So you get about 200 people who are who go out to Vegas, they're getting this show, and the announcer goes, and we would like to introduce your musical guest tonight, Tenacious D! The curtain goes up and the booing starts. Oh, man. And, like, oh. cans and shit thrown at oh, them. Oh, no. Just a terrible, terrible show. And and he was like, well, I mean... Oh. He, they did see, like, guys in the back who were just like, yeah, Tenacious D! But it was still like, oh, well... I mean, I, I mean, I would have liked to know who I was going to because I, I gotta prepare differently for different bands. Like, yeah. going to a Tenacious D show is is very different than going to, say, a Slipknot show. By the way, she eats spider pancakes. Oh, stop, no. Was, then she was... usually has dog... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, do no. I need to know more? Hortbags then finishes with Rat Sorbet. For dessert. How do you sorbet a rat? Yeah, she, she found a way. I... Is that just like, you know, when Professor Oak takes your rattatas and turns them into candy? Is that how you get the sorbet? What you do is you uh, you, you ground up the, the rats, and then uh, you add uh, heavy whipping cream. <laughs> and then you just kind of <laughs> whip it. <laughs> God, stop. <laughs> You have to be stopped. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gruntilda's like, ooh, fancy dining, huh? <laughs> Finally, the good stuff. <laughs> None of the other fluff. I'm trying to get the rhyming scheme down. It's just not working. So, uh, let's get one thing straight. Yes. I hate this level. Okay, cool. It's my least, then... fa it's my least favorite level. All right. It's so not the hardest level. I just hate it. We have something in common when it comes to Banjo-Kazooie. Finally. So if this is the one that you left at, that, that makes sense. 
And I do remember vividly, I left because of petty reasons. Well, maybe I can alleviate some of those petty reasons, or at least power through them so you don't have to. Sounds good. And, uh, oh, yeah, definitely make sure you get that open right away. You're gonna let the zombies out! No, they're no, they're fine. The zombies stay where they're supposed to. Underground? In their own specific area. Oh, okay. There are zombies in here. Because that's my specialty. Oh, yeah. I think you're doomed to play about any every zombie game ever made. Uh, it's, it's a blessing and a curse. Waiting for the Stubbs the Zombie Let's Play. Oh, no, don't say that out loud. <sighs> well, apparently that game's good. Uh, let's let's put a lid on good. <laughs> like like good in the in like tolerable. A, it's like it's 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 not good and is it's a magnificent piece of art kind of good. Good as like a troll two kind of good. Ooh, one of those. Okay, maybe not that bad. That's 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 not fair. Like they didn't have a good budget. Oh! It was a, it was it was an indie game in the time where indie games weren't exactly the kind of indie scene that it was today, back in like 2004. So it's it's got some jank. It's pretty it's pretty low budget, but, but they, they they had a vision in mind. I just think the cult appeal is hilarious to me. Like, doesn't that seem to happen to every game that is like, oh, this this game is kind of crap. We love it. It's kind of like well, well I mean, yeah, people like Kingdom Hearts. Okay, that's a different subset of, like, fans. And bad. And bad. It's a different type of bad. It's kind of bad that Kingdom Hearts is not the kind of bad that uh, Stubbs the Zombie is. See, Kingdom Hearts is playable. Deadly Premonition is a piece of hot garbage. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> you you cannot convince me of this otherwise. It was made like shit. Yeah, I mean, why is uh, Stubbs the Zombie considered good, but Deadly Premonition is kind of... <laughs> And then you got Deadly Premonition 2, which, unironically, which, was also made like shit. Yeah, yeah, but like even the people that liked the first Deadly Premonition, who could you know tilt their head and go, <laughs> oh, I think I get it. How can how can they look at Deadly Premonition 2 and go, oh no, this one's bad? It's like what's the difference? That takes a special type of terrible. Oh, you kidding me? We're, we're going to be doing this. Now. Oh come on. Oh come on. Oh, no. Uh, uh, all right. What okay, you caught it on the backswing. So that was a little bit of the pettiness, was this right here. Having to be so precise in something that is, in fact, imprecise. Yeah, the hitbox should not have been as crazy what as it is. Fuck? I mean, I mean, come on. If it, you hit that! If it touches it, it should be fine. Oh. Well, no, they're bouncing off the lip of the fucking come urn. Come on! Uh, Jesus! You are good. Yeah, fine! There. God, how did that work, but the other ones didn't? Maybe it'd be easier if I did it from that camera angle. No, oh, maybe. Alright, I think I need 20 mumbo tokens for this one. I also think Banjo Kazooie hit me in. It, like, hit me on a bad day. You know how it's not the game's fault? You, you just were having a shitty day, and all of a sudden. The game pissed you off for the final time. Yeah, that that happens. Uh huh. I think that's what Banjo Kazooie did with Mad Monster Mansion, because for some reason I just stopped playing. I like I rage quit Banjo Kazooie, of all games, because it pissed me off. Well, we got a Jiggy. Cheer up. I'm I am all of a sudden happy. Jiggies are good. Like, I, I knew that the videos would start taking, you know, two apiece going forward. Mm -hmm. But I didn't expect this one to take so long. Part, like, ah, you could do this in one video, but I just get so lost. But should you? And, and maneuvering around here is can just be such a pain. I mean, you got, you got a maze here and all that. It's just, that's, how you, that's how you kill ghosts, by the way. Oh! You have to be invincible to kill ghosts? Mm-hmm. Ew. You can't really kill them any other way. They're they're ethereal. Well, that's true. There's a bunch of notes in this maze too. Which is, is yeah, weird. I don't like that. Funny enough, this reminds me of a Donkey Kong 64 level. This this just has the least amount of good ideas. The thing is, I like horror theme stages. They're it's fun. Not, it's not that much horror in it though. It's it's just spooky and. 
kind of, kind of dull. Now, if Snacker was in this level, that'd be pretty funny. Or like a, you know, a, a Jason dude. <laughs> An undead Snacker <laughs> floating through the maze. Snacker may be dead, but he's still hungry. Ain't nothing here. See, it's easy to get lost, too, and the landmarks don't work as well as you think they should. Oh, I hear the spooky uh, uh, musical elements here. Uh, uh, okay, that right there. That was it. That was it? You caught me on a bad day, Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> but that. Wow. I, I didn't think we'd, we'd pinpoint. I told you, it was something stupid. <laughs> Like, like, I, I, I can't, I can't pin down when I saw playing Donkey Kong 64 because it was just, you know, a, a gray area. And I just kind of eh, lost it. But to pinpoint when you fell out with Banjo Kazooie, that's, that's impressive. <laughs> it's unique. It's special. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I think the part where it caught me on, on the bad day, because I remember the roof being a big point where I was just like, nah, nah, not gonna do it. I think I was getting the last note right here, and I missed and fell all the way down. Mm. Thus ending my experience with Banjo-Kazooie. Baron Bird no more. Well, I got the jiggy when you couldn't. Or maybe you got that jiggy. <laughs> Thanks, man! It, it making me feel good! I'm, I'm gonna dedicate this one to you. <sighs> well, the advantage is we can get a good view of the level, because there's Mumbo's skull over there. I'm glad Banjo can handle being dropped like 20 stories. As long as as long as a bird, you know, flaps their wings a couple of times, so he's good. Cancels the momentum enough. That's how it works, right? Oh yeah. Gravity. Yeah. What's it even for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I love how you're just smashing this house. I mean, what did it do to you? Well, we can go into the the lower floor there, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't do us any good. Is there, like, no point, or...? No, yeah, no point. There's a better way to approach the house to get the jiggy that this, that's talking about. Mm -hmm. This bat is wrecking your shit! Bats always do. I hate bats. I mean, I like bats in real life. But I don't like bats in games. <laughs> it just reminds me of AVGN. I hate fucking bats! Because bats in real life know when to stay the fuck away from you! <laughs> You ever had any bad bat experiences? Yeah, I was playing baseball one time and... <laughs> it just came flying right at me. I didn't know what to do. The reason why is because uh, that ghost has a jiggy in there. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we walk on that hardwood floor at any point, they, they creak and that wakes them up. Ah. So we gotta find a way to sneak in without alerting him. Gotta sneak in through the kitchen. Or maybe through a grunty painting. Can't get these guys right. Who the hell's this guy, though? Uh, the progenitor to see if thieves. Maybe it's like her boyfriend or something. That's undead Ed. Is that actually his name? I, I don't know. Might might be from from some other rare game or a beta character they never used, or the human version of a character who's now dead. We're going through the basement. Oh, that makes less sense. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna call that a missed input <laughs> because I, except it was the opposite. I tried to do, uh, I tried to do the uh, invincibility, but I ended up doing talent trot. No, oh, he drained all the wine, got us a jiggy. She hasn't made white since the 1800s. She didn't cork it properly, and now it's all dried out. Nothing more sad than dried out wine. I wonder why the, there's an X over one of these kegs. Hmm. Bad oh. ear? Maybe. Oh well. Maybe that's when Grunty and Brenty oh well. had a falling out. Oh well. 
That's the way up there, isn't it? No, it isn't. Oh, okay. It's just so many little things to do in here, too. I love how you're just smashing everything. How could you? Gotta break everything, because everything's all boarded up. Jiggy! Uh, uh. This oh. one, this one's pretty easy. Oh, it's a Ouija board. A very weird one. Oh no, we've reached Tumblr. All right, so there's a ghost following us. It's gonna kill us. B. <laughs> is that an N or a Z? That's a Z. Okay. Surfing bear. Yeah! You are... uh, Ninja... Okay. There's three O's in this phrase. But what does it spell? I think it spells Jet Force Gemini. <laughs> Finally! Let's do that game! Uh, I wouldn't mind that. I never... It must be an A. Aha! Ah! You never what? I never beat Jeff Force Gemini as a kid. <gasps> well, now's the time, man. Now's the time. Still got rare replay. You do. With Jeff Force Gemini. With Jeff Force Gemini. HDified. Ah. I hate that the first thing I saw on the floor was the umbrella logo. Yeah, I saw it too. Son yeah. of a bitch! I can't escape. I will always be the zombie guy. I think you're the Resident Evil guy. <laughs> yeah. The, the uh, Capcom zombie guy. Yeah, I'm the Capcom zombie guy. That's why you haven't done time, uh, uh, done Dino Crisis yet. Mm -mm. It's no zombies in it, it's just dinosaurs. Yeah. Or, sorry, Time Crisis or Dino Crisis? Dino Crisis. Okay. Time Crisis is Namco. And that's about, like, terrorists and stuff. Well, I'm going through a few crises, am I right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Really? I'm very sad. Do you, do you need to talk about it? <laughs> no, let's just get through Mad Monster Mansion, all right? I have to see what happens next. I'm going through a crisis, too. On the Xbox 360. <laughs> Does yours even work, by the way? My Xbox? Yeah. I haven't turned it on since L.A. Noir, but it should. Okay. Oh, that's right. You did do L.A. Noir on the Xbox. Yes. Hmm. No, well... I should have got it for the PS3, though, so I could get the trophies and rave about that. Ah, that's and, fine. And, and there was a, a, a mission we missed, actually. What? Because, yeah. Because it was a PS3 exclusive. Oh, come on. I hate that exclusive crap. I know. Like, if it's like a, a, a weapon or a piece of merchandise, you know, fucking whatever. Yeah, but that, that can be skipped. The whole swaths of the game yeah, exclusive to the one console, Don't man. do that. Don't do that. There's a lot of notes down here. There's an easier way to do this, but I'm doing it the hard way because... Content? Anyway, so that's that's what we're doing. <laughs> Ow! Oh, this ain't good. No. And you're probably gonna die. Alright, I'm just gonna have to just focus up. And you're 40, gonna die. 41. Where's the fish? Yeah. 42. You can book him. Gotta get air. <laughs> okay. Again, there is a much easier way to do this. I have a question for you. What do you got? What are you more afraid of? Underwater? Or the unknown? Let's just go through phobias that people have here at Mad Monster Mansion. Could combine the two. You're afraid of underwater because you don't know afraid what's of down there. The unknown underwater, yeah. yeah. Could be sea monsters down there. Uh, I guess the unknown, I guess. Okay. But, like, I find excitement in the unknown as well because, you know, you don't. It, it could be anything. You never know. Ooh. Yeah. The curiosity gets you. Alright, I gotta get some health. I'm kinda... 
I'll just dive right in. Not feeling great here. Just dive right in. I mean, not like dying matters too much in the Xbox version, but I'd still rather not. It'd be a thing I'd like to avoid. When's the last time you saved? The last time I got a jiggy. Underwater. <laughs> Imagine reloading your save and it's just Banjo underwater. Well, fuck that up. Charge! Okay. I don't think this is gonna help me too much. Nope. I mean, don't even think I can grab those notes, as is. Well, this is just bad. Uh, uh. If the place you die is Mad Monster Mansion, how fitting. The, 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 the design just isn't as tight compared to everything else. And time's up. There's not that much left of the game, is there? We got... This is level 7, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. That means that we only have three levels left. What?! Yeah. I was that close?! Yeah. It's this, Rusty Bucket Bay, and Click Clock Wood. That's it. Damn my bitchy self. <laughs> Rusty Bucket Bay is the hardest, Click Clock Wood is the most expansive and the most complex. This is just... the dumbest. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it. Therefore stupid. They're, therefore stupid. That my word is law. Go, go, go. Go, God, go. Yeah! Ah. What? Okay, I made it. Why did it pause there? I, I don't know. I guess I had to play a fanfare that I made it inside the, the house. Good job. I'm proud of me. You made it inside the house. Now die! This is a good halfway mark. There's a lot of things in here. This, this is probably the one thing I kind of like about this level. A big-ass, gigantic church. It's pretty nice. It's classic. It's like you, a small thing, and such a big thing. Now, we're not gonna see, like, people sacrificing virgins in here, are we? Uh, not until 2 you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, they saved their best stuff for the sequel. Alright, so here's how you do with these. You throw an egg, and they come and chase you, right? Okay. Well, if you just keep running, they'll never get you. Oh, is that how you deal with bees? Just keep running. They oh, can't yeah. get you. Don't give up when they uh, reach their territory. Yeah. Oh, I was hoping it would play a couple notes. Uh, but right. those are pedals to an organ, not actual keys. Need some oiling. They're stuck there. I always like the sound of a good pipe organ. Well, you're going to hear one. Excuse me, maestro. Would you mind playing my favorite song by ABBA? <laughs> Dancing Queen. Mark's hand. <laughs> How was he speaking by, like, pulsating his hand? He's just kind of rubbing his fingers, you know. I am Mozart. Really simple. Play the notes that he plays. Try not, try not to... All behind now. This really annoys me because a lot of these notes, th th they're all the same tone. I noticed that. I'm not just crazy or tone deaf. I think they're different in the N64 version, but not the Xbox One version because I guess they just couldn't. They couldn't get the rights to <laughs> two different notes. Oh, round two. Yeah, I think it's all just soap and sea. Did I ever tell you about the worst act that's ever sang at the place I work at? No, what'd you sing? Very clever, sir. <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> He it done- was, he done got me! It was right there, I had to do it. It was a wind Cont up and knock it out of the park. Continue with your anecdote. There is a gentleman who advertises himself quite a bit. He actually, like, gets us posters and everything for us to put around the building. Mm -hmm. His shtick is that, you know, he essentially does covers, but not really. He is his own open mic night. Yeah. As in, he sings the songs... Good, good, As good. if he were a drunk idiot at open mic night. Isn't that what he is? A drunk idiot? At open mic night? 
I no. Mean, what's 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 that, the joke? That's his shtick. His shtick is that he just sings him drunk. Uh, no, he. Uh, okay. You know how people think they sing really good, and so they go up to the mic and prove everybody wrong that he that they cannot sing very well. Mm-hmm. That's his three-hour show. Is him being extremely bad oh. Oh. at open mic. So uh, I, I, I kind of had my brow there, crinkled, and there then you, you said three hours. There like, you go. Oh, and nobody else gets to sing. It's just him. Three hours is a long time to take one guy going. Oh my! And I assume it's a uh, com- combination of that, right? Yes. Him just, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's, oh boy, oh buddy. Three hours of very badly done open mic, and nobody else gets to sing. It's just him. It's it's not even that self-deprecating, is it? No. And the thing is, he thinks he's hot shit. Oh, he is hot shit. Hot steaming shit. Yeah. Hot steaming stinky shit. Probably the funniest thing is somebody actually said, wow, this show is terrible. And he took it personally. <laughs> he took it personally. Wow. R- really can't uh, find any criticisms, can you? Fragile Just... ego in that guy who thinks he's Adonis. It was really bad. I'm just getting upset and just killing everything. <laughs> at least you got everything at the top of the church. Yeah. I'd feel really bad if you forgot like a button. Yeah, I know. We got everything in the church right now, and, oh, uh... There's, there's, there's still a lot to do. I mean, we, we haven't even been to Mumbo yet to get everything tied to that. Well... We gotta go inside the mansion. It's, it's just too much to do in one video. So next time on Banjo-Kazooie, the rest of Mad Monster Mansion. Have a good week. See you next time. <laughs>